Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 90th Minute Podcast. We are your hosts, myself, Liam, Waz, Matt, Lucas, and Greg today. No more fraud watch. All five of us are back. Welcome, welcome. If you are new to the 90th Minute, please make sure you do hit like on this video as well as subscribe here on YouTube. Helps us out a ton. Also, jump into the comment section, talk about anything we get into today, give your thoughts and opinions, and ask us questions that you want us to answer for next week's podcast. If you are listening to us on audio apps, whether on Spotify, Apple, Google, anything like that, leave a good review, share it with your friends, help us get our name out there. Boys, massive, massive episode here of the podcast. The leagues have all finished across Europe. We have new champions. We have huge moments, including players leaving, managers leaving, final second moments to decide leagues. But before we get into that... Summer is right around the corner, and we all know what's in June. It is Father's Day, and today's sponsor, of course, is the guys over at Manscaped. So, if you are looking for some male grooming product, maybe a gift for dad, check out Manscaped. And when you use code 90 at checkout, you will get 20% off at uh, 20% off of your final bill, plus free shipping. Now, Manscaped have some incredible new products. They have been very, very kindly sent to us. The Lawnmower 4.0. Now, the packaging is by far the nicest thing I've ever seen. I gotta be honest, this thing, it opens like that. How beautiful is that? Lovely, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Like a book. Now, there's lots of nice, fancy information and gifts and everything down there. That's where it's going. The Lawnmower 4.0, completely new, redesigned, all that good stuff. Where was the thing I was gonna read off? It had all the information you wanted to know. Skin, safe, Technology, of course, Manscaped revolutionizes it. It also comes with replacement blades. That's a new update for the 4.0. It's got wireless recharging. Brilliant. Brilliant. Be like a brand new Samsung smartphone. Not that iPhone bullshit. Samsung. Uh, LED light is still there. Still waterproof. All that good stuff. It's also got a travel lock. That way you take it with you. You put it in your travel bags on the plane. You know, COVID's done. You're going over to Mexico or some good stuff. It's not going to turn on your bag. It's not going to break down there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Manscaped.com. Use code 90th at checkout. You get 20% off plus free shipping. The best products in male grooming. A great gift idea for dad or that person in your life that you want to treat. They have some fantastic new products such as the Weed Whacker, Nose Trimmer, and Ear Trimmer. It's gross. Clean it up. COVID's getting done. Clean yourself up. Get yourself looking good. Football is over. Let's talk about it. The final oh, match day. Let's go in there. Day. Pardon, sir? Mm. No, nothing. Let's talk about <laughs> Alrighty. The final match day. The final match day. Um, basically, the 90th Minute did a fantastic stream over on twitch.tv slash the 90th Minute official. We broke it down. We were going game by game by game as goals went in, seeing who was making top four, who was finishing sixth, who was here, who was there, everywhere. And boys, the dust has settled. Yeah, about time. What the hell happened? <laughs> Someone a lot. It. I mean, yeah. multiple bottle jobs, but one bottle job was much bigger than the other. Let's talk about Leicester this. Yeah. City! Leicester City do lose on the day 3-2 versus four two. Tottenham Hotspur. 4-2, four four two, sorry, 4-2 two. Two against Tottenham Hotspur. Um, it does mean that Leicester drop into fifth and drop into the Europa League. Yet again, another disappointing, uh, disappointing end to the season for the Foxes. Last final five matches, they only win one of them. That is not good enough when you're looking to, you know, qualify for the Champions League. Um, they, it's funny they because... Last week, they were all in euphoria winning the FA Cup, and now it's the opposite. Jesus. That is how yeah, football yeah. works. It's crazy how just a single week, you're on the highest but, of highs winning the Cup, like Wazzy said, and then the next week, you're but crashing you, out of Champions League. If you talked about it at the beginning of the season, I think Leicester would be pretty damn happy with fifth place and an FA Cup. Mm, yes. At the maybe. very beginning of the season, they would be happy may, with that. May, yeah, but the way they ended it, I wouldn't be too happy. Yeah, no, I'm just talking... Of course, you're, they bomb yeah. it. Like, you don't want to see that. But at the very beginning of the season, they would be happy with... A Le- team like Leicester would be happy with fifth place in the FA Cup. On paper, I, I agree with you. Um, I think Leicester definitely want to start being a top-four team. I think they're not a million miles away. Um, it was it was unlucky for them, but they, they, they did it themselves. There was a couple moments where 
really the fingers have to be pointed at Casper Schmeichel. Uh, poor goaltending. Uh, there was the one where he tr goes for the punch, misses the ball completely, ends up as an I, own goal. Well, he didn't miss it completely. He put it into his own net, he, actually. Yes. Um, I think a big talking moment for, for Lester would be Wesley Fofana when he went off injured. I think that swung the game a little bit. It's a big turning point against them. But for Tottenham Hotspur, uh, they do come back to win this game. It was two goals from their lone player, Gareth Bale. Huge moment for him. You know, he, he does great for Spurs. He ends, he, he, that, that win there puts Tottenham into uh, sixth, which means the Conference League. Isn't it seventh? Oh, sorry, seven. seventh. I'm all over the shop today. Yes, you seventh are. Seventh for the Europa yeah. Conference that League. Sucks. There's too many too many leagues going on at this. Point. No, no, but yeah, like you said, Gareth Bale. Like we literally cover four in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Gareth Bale did did great coming off the, coming onto the pitch. And just a quick question while we're on Spurs: Do you guys think he'll sign here, or what do you think? Um, so my guy's going back to Madrid. I know. No, I, I saw from Madrid. Fabrizio Romano said that Madrid's looking definitely to sell him this off season. To secure some funds, so. I mean, what um, funds are they gonna get? <laughs> they'll get something for them. They're not gonna get a huge, huge amount, I mean, but they're gonna get something bill, for them. Yeah, um, it, it it definitely is not gonna be a great financial bit piece of business for, for for Real Madrid. But will he end up back at Tottenham? I don't see why not. It depends on who's coming in as manager. Um, I I think if if. Spurs get a manager who's looking for a more attacking football, then why Gareth would you not Bale. want Gareth Bale mm -hmm. on that he roster? That if you're looking for, for a hard-working, defensive-minded team, a Jose Mourinho-esque manager, which I don't think Spurs want, potentially Gareth Bale is not the guy that they'd want in that that uh, that dressing room. But Gareth Bale, like I said, he's done his job. He's come to Tottenham. He's had big moments for them. He's scored some big goals. Mm -hmm. Today's two were absolutely massive for their um, season in terms of where they ended up. Yeah. And it did sink Leicester City into fifth. And here we are. Yet again, season, second season in a row now where we talk about Leicester bottling it at the end. The season came a little bit more later. Well, last season was like... It was December. They just started dropping mm. off like crazy. In January, well, Liam, but... you kind of predicted this to happen, almost, didn't you? Did I? I feel like you kind of had a feeling that Leicester was going to kind of bot bottle it. You know, you I, look I, at the, I, I you like look at the Lester, top four, but... and like a lot of people were asking us, of course, over like last couple of games, like, oh, what are you, who's going to be top four? And it just it just ended the normal top four from the big six. You know, City, United, Liverpool, Chelsea. No surprises. No Leicester in Champions League. No West Ham. There was no you know storybook top four race or run, I, I, I guess. I know what you're saying, was. I think a lot of people yeah. had, th maybe not in that exact order of top four, but I think they had, mo most people had those teams think, as their top four. <laughs> I didn't think United could get second. <laughs> hey, and neither did I. I'm pretty so sure exactly. I Do you Arsenal remember the beginning of the season? My predictions, which is well, I was gonna fucking say, shocking. Our, our so. prediction episode, we're going to be doing a review of that uh, very, very soon here, upload to YouTube. Uh, but I... In that prediction, I remember going, should I put Liverpool second or should I Liverpool third? And you mm -hmm. all yelled at me, how dare you put them third? Yeah, yeah that was before well, they got well, injured. I mean, I think, I think Maddie had it, Spurs in nine, so I know we're going to look take a look at it, but that was also one of the shocking yeah. predictions we Ninth had. Ninth or eighth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll take a look at that later. Can I say got full full right? video. IQ, fam. <laughs> hey, hey, IQ. at least you got Fulham, right? <laughs> I got Fulham, Let's right? Let's talk, though, about the other top... Uh, top four so teams. Liverpool did get a 2-0 victory against Spectre. Crystal Palace, a brace from Sadio Mane. It was a clean enough, simple enough victory for the Reds to secure their top four hopes. The one that was not clean and not simple and definitely not very good was Chelsea. Chelsea get a 2-1 loss against Aston Villa, and yet it's still enough for them to qualify for top four. That's crazy. They get lucky on the day. Yeah. They get lucky with, with, with Leicester losing. The Considering the form it, Chelsea's been in and everything like that, going to the Champions League final, and then going to lose on the last match day to, like, it, just, they would have secured Champions League. They still yeah. got it, but they would have secured it, and they blew it. <laughs> yeah. So it, Villa were all right. Villa were good. They, they, the goals they scored were pretty good. Um, Chelsea, they looked a little flat, I want to say. You think yeah, they're getting ready for the Champions League final? I'm not Rather than focusing on this it. game? I'll be honest, I'm worried for them a little bit. 
Well, yeah. now I'm extra worried because it um, during the game, uh, Chelsea goalkeeper Mendy was taken off through injury. Kep had to come in. It looks like Mendy's going to be having a X-ray on his ribs, uh, yeah. a rib injury. Something happened there, so we'll see in the next couple days oh, what dude, the extent of that is. Throw him back in the game. We'll see. I mean, the Champions League final is not a game you want a injured goalkeeper. Yet again, you don't want Kepa though. So Cappy worse than Carius. Uh, all I know. We'll see. <laughs> Let's talk about let's talk top of the table, Manchester City. They got a five nil victory over yeah. Everton. Why they should be scared. <laughs> and the story is Sergio Aguero. He comes on the second half for his final ever game at City. He scores a brace. In the Premier League at least. In the Premier League at least. He scores a brace. Beautiful moments there as 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 he comes on. He got on the guard to, of honor. He has yeah. a guard of honor. He beats Wayne Rooney's single club goal scoring record. It was fantastic to see him come on and do what he did. It was a fantastic victory for City. Everton were all over the place at the back. There were, I think, two or three of the goals. It was a three-on-one. It was like, where's your back line? What is happening here, Everton? Um, very, yeah. very poor performance from them. City, they do go on to lift the trophy, of course, in front of their own fans. Fernandinho doing the honors. It was a good presentation. I enjoyed watching it. Pep got all emotional and cried over Sergio Aguero. Oh, my God. So, you know, that is what he does. <laughs> Let's talk about uh, Arsenal. Well, just, well, and, uh, what about Everton, though? What oh, happened shocking to Everton? performance, abysmal. Shit. Shocking performance. They also got 10th. They got 10th. Yeah. yeah. What the that's hell terrible. That's a terrible season. It's not that Everton. shocking with some of the players they had and some of the performances they were getting and some injuries, too. So, so it's a, shock, I guess, it's like, a terrible performance for them. I remember when it was, was, like, was, it was saying they, that they were going to finish above Liverpool early in the season. <laughs> I wish they did. That they were flying bit. early they on, were. though. Like, they were a lot of very were... good. I, so I agree Spurs. with that. I agree with that. But, like, Spurs didn't fall off as far as Everton did. I remember well. when Spurs supporters were, you know, giving United Sports shit, saying, oh, 6 2, 6 2, this. And they were, like, second in the league. Well, you guys finished seventh. We finished second. <laughs> Everton had some rough injuries as well, though. They had Allen injured. I know James Rodriguez was injured for a little bit. So, yeah. And Do- Dominic Calvert Lewin lost his goal scoring touch. Um. And... Um, surprised he ever quickly, had it, to be, to be <laughs> he's honest. doing so great, for, for, great things for, for Dominic. Arsenal got a 2-0 victory over Brighton. Nicolas Pepe scored, scoring both. Uh, for a moment, Arsenal looked to have secured Conference League football. However, that was uh, flipped at the end when Spurs came back to lead at Leicester. The big result, the, my favorite result of the day, was West Ham 3-0 over Southampton to secure them Europa League. Fuck yeah, David West Moyes Ham and West Ham. That's good to see, yeah. Uh, I love they've to been, see they've that. They've been impressive this season, West Ham. <laughs> Out of a lot of clubs in, in, that finish in that top table, top top of the table, they deserve to have European football. They've had a yeah. great season. Had a good season. They've had some big moments, some big victories. They've had some injuries as, along the way as well. But I've really been, I'm really happy for West Ham. I, I hope they can hold on to a lot of their players. I hope they can oh, sign same. Jesse Lingard. Jay and, Ling's moonwalking. Uh, I, it'll be tough, obviously. I mean, if they can keeping so, the likes of Declan Rice and everything, I, yeah. I don't see them keeping Declan Rice, but if they can find a suitable replacement for him, which will be tough. But, but then again, uh, yeah. I mean, you, you sell it to Declan Rice. Hey, we're in Europa League this year. Let us let us make some more signings. And the progress is there. I mean, and David push, Moyes. Let's push for top four. Is they're not a million miles away from top four. We've seen yeah. Leicester over the past five, six seasons transform <laughs> from funny. a mid-table Lucas... to Europa League to cha- to top four. Now, why can't West Ham do that? Lucas and I were talking about in the stream how Carlo Ancelotti says, like, I think next season he wants to push for the title or something. Well, or is that taken out of context? And, I, like, I, 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 Everton wants, yeah. I don't know. I know Everton wants to get rid of a bunch of players that don't yeah, want to be like, there because if that, if, a bunch if that's of players true, have just fallen off. If that's true, Everton wants to push for a title, then you see, like, West Ham getting closer to that. Like, th- th- there's margins to this. Like, like what? West Ham look like they can be a t- top four, you know, but they can push for that again, I think, if they keep the right players, keep the right systems. Everton, Everton's been that team that yeah. just, like, hasn't been able to mm-hmm. push there mm-hmm. for a while, though. It's... Obviously, we're not going to do, like, a full review of the table right now because we'll do that for our prediction video, but, yeah. I just yeah, you guys take it away. No, just just top six in general is just becoming so, so congested. Yeah, it, it was it was top six. Then you it's say like oh, there's seven now. or eight teams. There's there's about ten teams challenging to be top six, and it's great for for viewers. It's great entertainment for us. You know, it's mm-hmm. it, I love watching the Premier League for that specific reason that there's just so many teams challenging. Yeah, like yes, you could argue City, 
maybe Liverpool and United are just kind of that little bit I better, mean, a little bit how higher. How many teams are really challenging for the title at the end of the day? Not, that's what I was going to actually bring up the point. Like, like, you know, the title is include, that, that top you six you Man City this year, maybe? I'm, I'm, I'm going to just bring it up real quickly. Man makes a point. Like, you know, the, you, it's entertaining to watch that battle for top four, top six European positions, but the title race... It's it's for the last couple of years. It's just been whoever can f- battle with Manchester City. Yeah, that's essentially it. And it's only honestly been like only Chelsea and Liverpool in the last couple of years. Now Man United from time to time they had a, they. I'll be honest, we miss an opportunity this season to potentially you know go toe to toe. But that's just the way the league went. I mean, you, well, you look I at mean, the goal differentials. Man United this uh, they had a twenty nine goal differential, conceded forty four. I think last year we conceded like 34. So I don't know what happened in United defensively. There was obviously some issues in the midfield as well. But I mean, we, we look at Manchester City. They they only got 86 points this season. That's not a ton when you look at the past handful of yeah. years in the Premier League. We had the Centurions. We had Liverpool at 99. You know, in terms of a, a, a good season, Man City had a very average season for, for their standards. However, they were still the best team in the Premier League by a long way. But they were very average on their own their own form kind of thing. Now, of yeah. course, COVID had had its own play, and no fans in the stadium doesn't help at all. But you know, I, I agree with what you said. This was a missed opportunity by United, by Liverpool, even by Chelsea to an extent. To maybe, hey, City are not having the best of years. We could have gone on and won this thing. But, well, this is well. That's mm-hmm. what Tuchel's saying. He wants to compete with City next year. I, I think playing. he. I think if he brings in the right players that fit his style, I think he can. Yeah, but that and title. Get back to it. The Liverpool amount of points is the least back. since the Leicester City title winning season, where they got eighty one points. So definitely wow. a slightly down year points wise in the Premier League. But I mean, Which with everything good that's in the happened, sense, you, know, you know, there's a bit more competition. Also, it's, it's, it's not, kind of normal with most sorry. leagues. Most leagues around yeah. Europe have ended with less points than usual for most of the teams in Europe. And it's not like you know, Man City ran away with the title. It wasn't like a twenty point difference. Yeah. It was like by eight points. I mean, they so, kind of I mean, ran away with it. <laughs> in a sense, yeah, but it was, it was closer than you know, maybe some other years. I think. <laughs> let's uh, let, let's run down the, the last few of the results here. Manchester United two one over Wolves. Nuno departs. Wolves. That, was, that was sad. That was it sad was sad. We'll see where he ends up. There's a lot of talk about him moving to a much bigger club, potentially Tottenham. Could he move away from English football? We shall see. I think Nuno's a great manager. He'll do good mm-hmm. things in his career. It's a good win for United 2-1. You play some of your young players. You, you rotate yeah. your side a little bit. Juan Matic scoring a penalty. Potentially his last game for Manchester United as hopefully, well. Hopefully Matic is gone. Because that guy's a fucking disaster of a player now. <laughs> Sub- he slipped in the middle of the pitch and basically helped made us concede a goal. to Nemanja. I mean, it's shades of Gerrard. Sheffield United, they pick up a Sorry. victory in the final day of the league. 1-0 over Burnley in what could be the most boring game of football the world has <laughs> ever seen. But that's all right. Burnley. <laughs> sure. Leeds, they won 3-1 over West Brom. It's a great result for Leeds. They scored some good yeah, goals. There a was great Callum... season for Leeds. It's been a great season for Leeds. They finished ninth. Callum Phillips did get injured at the end. It looked like his arm or collarbone kind of thing. So we'll see what happens there. You know. Leeds is an interesting team because lots of their players, like they they play so well under a certain style, under Bielsa's style. It's like, would though any of those bigger teams be interested in any of those players? Because maybe they don't play as good under a different style. And I'm. I mean, we've seen Patrick Bamford in the Premier League before, and he really did not do much. I don't think Bamford in the in the Prem under any other manager, any other team. I don't think he'd have a great year. But then again, he's working in the lead system. Leads in general, like said, leads in general just work Attacking. in their system. You know? I mean, fair so, play to him. 17 goals? Jeez. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good season for him. You stick him, though, in Arsenal, I don't think he gets half that for goals. I don't think. As you could probably make a good sounds, argument for that, yeah. I, it, it's just weird. Um, and that, that, that's my that's argument. Good, I don't even think that's a good argument. I think there's no way he does, man. Yeah. I, I, no I like he's he a Patty Bamford, but... Is he no. a great striker or is he just a great lead striker? You know that that question has to be asked. And, and that's either what, way, good for him. Yeah, good that's what my question right is. Team. What is Leeds going to do in this off season? And I'm very curious to see, honestly. Leeds are our team that will want to strengthen. They'll want to challenge for that Europa League spot. Can they be like Wolves and, and push up to, to fifth, sixth kind of thing? We shall see how they. But, end and then, up. and then, just going back to Wolves, I guess quickly is what do Wolves do? 
oh, well, like they had a really bad year. Can they bounce back from that? Losing their manager, Nuno, who's been with them for so long now, it's it's gonna be difficult. Yeah. Um, we'll see if the Portuguese tradition like continues. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what they can find, what they can bring in to, to Wolves. The He's final game we haven't talked Mendes about, though, manager. was Newcastle 2-0 over Fulham. It's okay, Greg. The pain is over now. It's okay. You're going back to your own league, the Champo. You're going to have a great time down there. Mitrovic is going to score 35 goals. It's okay. Everything's all right, Greggy. Every little thing's going to be all right. I, I'm oh. honestly looking, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, it'll be a better season. I want to actually play... Hopefully we have a good transfer window, actually buy some players, not just loan in like 10, and hopefully play our youth players and have a good season. That's that's what I'm hoping. Something interesting Fulham... about this Premier League season that I found uh, cool is that uh, not a single Man City player was in the top four for the Golden Boot, yet they won the title. I think that's quite impressive. Well, I mean, for a lot of this, this season, City they did not play with a, with a striker. But I'm just saying, that's like yeah. typically oh, for, yeah. goal, for Premier League winners, you you have a player in the like up there for well, the Golden Boot. What but you're like, talking about the Golden Boot, I I give massive, massive credit to Harry Kane. He wins a Golden Boot. Yeah. He also wins the, the assist in, in the league, a top assister in the league. That's an incredible and, season And, you know, for Lucas, yeah. for all the crap that Mohamed Salah gets, he got 22 goals this year, and yeah. that's... I, it, it, I know I kind of gave him crap over the week, you know, during that watch along. Pretty but average no, season for him, isn't it? I, I guess, but still impressive. 22 think, goals in a know, season where Liverpool most were not over, great. Overrated. You're putting up 22 goals. I don't know how that's overrated. I don't yeah. care how you score them. It's still, you're still going scoring goals. It's he's yeah. consistent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 22 goals in a season where your team's not at the best and you're not attacking, especially your attacking's not very good. That's still an incredible amount. So, yeah, credit to Mohamed Salah. Credit to... To, uh, to Harry Kane. I mean, Harry Kane, of course, where will he end up? There's so many questions that will be talked about and, and, and brought up over the offseason, and we're looking forward to answering those and seeing where these players go, where everything happening with the Euro tournament. So, yeah. honestly, and, and it's going to be an insane summer. And that goes back to us in the comments. Like, we want you guys to comment down below. Let us know all your thoughts on the season. If you enjoyed the season, where's mm -hmm. Harry Kane going to go? Managers, who's going to go to Spurs? Like, stuff like that. Just let us yeah. know. But that does wrap up the uh, matches here in the Premier League. Uh, let me say the table was. If we can run down the table really quickly. Well, we don't need uh, to run down will, the table. No, no. I was going to say, I mean, Chelsea, Liverpool, they get top four. We, we said it we, we just talked about that. Yeah, we said just, it shut, already. Ah, Let's not repeat. Everybody. Where are we going now? Can we go to Italy, I was going to mention a uh, great season by Bruno Fernandes. 18 goals, 12 assists. So, Italy, good please? goal. And uh, only out of those eighteen goals, nine, nine were penalties. That's a lot. <laughs> fucking half. All right. That's a lot. <laughs> nice. Still the half. Still, yeah, man. Exactly fifty percent. Good. That's okay. a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. Only, only nine were pens. Yeah. Holy All right, Syria. San Siro for Champions League. I'm still happy. Mm. Syria wrapped up today. Yeah. Incredible. See. More bottle jobs in this league. Mm -hmm. There was nearly a really big bottle job, but now there's been a slightly smaller bottle job. Lucas, run us through it. Yeah, so basically, last day of the season, uh, three teams could get the final two spots for the Champions League, and those teams were AC Milan, Napoli, who were in the top four at the time and just needed to win, and there was Juventus, who were in fifth place and needed a bit of luck. Juventus, they had an easy time. They smashed Bologna. Morata scored a brace. Um, There's a talking point about that game, because Ronaldo. in the biggest game of Juventus this season, Juventus put Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench. They don't start him. There's no injury. There's no in Pirlo goes. It was a tactical plan. Shut your mouth. It's a I'm, tactical it plan. Worked. No <laughs> it worked, but that's not a tactical plan. That's hey, boss, don't play me today. I'm. I don't want to play. That's what I read that as. Or maybe he's planning for the future without Cristiano Ronaldo. Who knows? It's a possibility. Because but yeah, Juventus do get a 4-1 victory for Bologna, which is... Well, they did their job kind yeah. of thing. Now, yeah. AC Milan, they had the toughest job. They had to play Atalanta, who... I mean, they, of course, already guaranteed Champions League last week. Who was it? Who was it that won in the game, Lucas? Frank. Frank. <laughs> Big man Frank Kessie scores two penalties in the game. <laughs> 2-0 AC Milan. Massive, massive result. They do their job. They have secured themselves in top four. Mm -hmm. And Lucas, 
Who else had to do a job today? Napoli, we're playing yeah, Hellas Verona. They needed to win. Jobs. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get and our bottles out for Napoli. Congratulations. Good job. Good You're a shite club. <laughs> Napoli needed to win. They went up 1 0, goal from Romani in the second half. But eight minutes after that goal, Hellas Verona got on, a, got on a break and scored. And really, Napoli were crap in this game. They. They were playing like at snail's pace throughout most of this match. It was really frustrating watching them play. Uh, especially Insigne. He was annoying me quite a bit. Just doing things that weren't working. I mean, yeah, for such Lucas, a massive game. I mean, You wanted Juventus to, to like not make top four, right? Well, I think it would have been pretty funny if Juventus didn't make the Champions yeah, not, League. That'd be a funny after all the things they've said. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, I mean... A massive game for Napoli. All they had to do was win. All they had to do was win and you're in. Simple as that. They just they, don't, they can't make the performance. And then right after the game, Napoli have come out and said that they are sacking Gattuso. So that's uh, going to be interesting. Who takes over boss there? Work has to be done in Naples. Well, where does Gattuso go? That's the oh, there's been rumors that uh, Lazio and Napoli were going to swap managers. <laughs> Why not? At this point, who cares? <laughs> I mean, there's been rumors about Gattuso going to Fiorentina. Then there's rumors about Napoli. I mean, Lazio. Sometimes so we'll see what happens. Sometimes maybe shit. That's the Gattuso quote. Uh, I mean, Juve... Oh, he's gone. He left. Yeah, he's gone now. Yeah. Uh, Juve, you know, they, they absolutely make it the hardest possible job they can. <laughs> but they do get top four. They are in Champions League. They do secure that financial ability at least. So... We shall see what happens at Juve. They definitely need a massive overhaul because the two Milan sides are, are, are miles ahead right now. According to Andrea Pirlo, he says, I see myself as Juventus manager next season. I want to stay, and I'm 100% sure the club has not communicated anything to me yet. So, I mean. I could see him staying. I probably I see him staying. They'll probably give him another chance. Well, that's what happened with the top four race. Of course, Inter, Mal Inter Milan, they already won the title. They got to lift the trophy today, which was a great sight. 5-1 uh, victory over Udinese. Fantastic. Yeah. A big win to uh, round it off. Yeah. Huge praise to them. Of course, people were talking about, oh, they might have to sell Lukaku or players like that. No, apparently not. Uh there's some uh, financial fund that bought a minority stake in Inter, so they'll be fine with finances this year. Good job. Good job, Inter Milan. Hopefully they can keep their players and do well in the Champions League after yeah. getting knocked out yeah. in the group they, they stage, need, not, even, not even making Europa League. Of yeah, course, yeah, get, go make a deep Champions League round next year. You know? So the top four, it's Inter Milan first, AC Milan finished second, fair play to them, Atalanta third, Juventus fourth, Napoli fifth, Lazio sixth, Roma 7th, uh, they get to go to the Conference League ahead of Spossolo, who finished with the same amount of points. And in relegation, Parma's going back down, Cortone is going down, and Benevento is going down. And funny story with them, uh, they lost, they got relegated earlier this week, and their president, were so, their president was so mad that for this game that happened this weekend, they had to ride to the game on bus. The public transport to get to the game. It's like it's like Wazinho over at Watford. Yeah. Um. Not enough is being said about Atalanta. I they finished to finish third. Yeah, they finished second. Yeah, third. third. Yeah, that's a massive that. achievement for them. They deserve a little bit more credit than what they're getting. I mean, they kind of had a goals. missed opportunity. They could have won the cup this week against they Juventus, could have. but. but. I, they're gonna look back on this the last few years and probably regret some things because. They really could have won the title last season. They really could have yeah. won some Coppa Italia. So some regrets that will come from them. But, of course, they're getting some stability. They're getting more finances from the Champions League football. So that's that can't be a bad thing. Not at all. Yeah. Can we please, pretty, pretty please, can we go to France now? Because oui. I want to have a good laugh at... Paris Saint Germain because they finished second. Lille or League on Champions, baby. With, with Canadian yeah, boys. Jonathan David being in the lineup, scoring the first goal of the game. He just wasn't. He wasn't a passenger. He was actually, you know, a crucial part of this title winning season. That's yeah. the things you love to see. Maddie, who scored the second goal? Who scored the second goal for for Lille, Maddie? 
Bro, he's still a fucking fraud, man. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> Burak! Burak. The official, the official <laughs> starting striker of the night even. Burak Ilmaz! When the I needed him, goaded. he wasn't there. And that's all that matters. When I no, he'll show up. He'll show up for now. Matt, Matt, he is. He'll show up for, don't worry, he'll show up now. For what, the not Euro not your Euros, but finish? the yeah. real Euros. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but of course, Lille, they played Angers today. PSG, uh, they also had a match against... Brest. Uh, Brest, yeah. I oh, forgot their name for a second there. <laughs> uh, Lille, they got the victory. 2-1 victory over Angers. It, you know, it got a bit scary Massive. towards the end when Angers scored. The, Lille were getting ready to celebrate the title. Angers scored and they're like, oh crap. Please don't concede. <laughs> we need to defend now. <laughs> <laughs> but they were fine. It was just it was just a consolation goal. Yeah. And Lille celebrated. Unfortunately, the trophy wasn't lifted today, but they got to celebrate, which was really a great sight, because they have like a quarter of PSG's budget, maybe less than that. Yeah, Who honestly. knows? In the and league, that's called a farmers league daily. Here we go. A fucking farmers come up and pushed over the rich boys. So oh, there you go. Is, this is Lille's first title in 10 years. Last time they won it, they had Eden Hazard in the lineup, which is crazy. Also, yeah. fun fact, Jonathan David, every time he scored, they have won. So. And also, Lille has only conceded fact. 23 goals this season, which is the least amount in Europe, all of the top five leagues. Yeah, top five leagues. Has, they, they have the best defensive record in all of Europe's top five leagues. That's incredible. They don't have the, the star powers of your Bayerns, your Real Madrid, your Man Cities, your Liverpools. They have a team. And it's a team. Burak's not a star? Burak is his own star. Don't worry, Burak's there. But this is a team that's gone on to dethrone one of the best teams of our lifetime in PSG in the, in the, the, the past handful of years at least. Congratulations to Lille, yeah. man. Yeah. I love well, to see that. And Lille it supporters, just celebrate the moment, enjoy the moment, because, yeah, unfortunately, it's going to get a little... Again. It's going to suck in the next few months because apparently Lille's in a lot of debt. And they're gonna have they're to sell, gonna have a, bunch to sell a lot of their players. So, so team well, sold. and and I guess we quickly, where do you think some of those players can go? I mean, where do you so, think Samori is gonna go to Leicester? Apparently, uh, I yeah. could definitely see Botman getting sold for a good sum this season. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised be... if Sanchez left. Salik, Magnon. Jonathan Davis is going to be definitely a, a striker that teams are looking at. I mean, he's had a decent enough year. Potentially, for but I just don't scored. see him leaving just right after a good season like this. He had, he had 13 goals but in 37 games. it might not games, be up so. to him, Wazi. The, they're in such financial issue that they're know. looking to sell most of their starting Someone comes in with a right offer, and they yeah. might have to go with a young, good well, striker. We cannot right worry about that. We have to enjoy the moment. Yes. And PSG, they did get a 2-0 victory over Brest. Uh, mm. It just wasn't enough for them. In this game... Neymar did miss a penalty. He missed the whole goal, actually. So yeah, did you see the Neymar. goalkeeper in that? <laughs> yeah, he just kind of was like, okay. <laughs> the goalkeeper stood um, on the right side of the net, gave Neymar yeah. the whole left side, so, yeah. and then yeah. he just he's just like stepped Neymar. To the left. I know you're gonna score, so <laughs> just go. And he's like, he missed the whole net. And, um, <laughs> I was gonna say as well. Uh, I remember in our Twitch chat today, uh, there was talk apparently of Mbappe going to Liverpool that he apparently wants to join Liverpool. For it was one kid, I don't know if yeah, talk of it. but but here's the Mbappe. Yeah, apparently, this is what uh, PSG's president said. Uh, no way Mbappe leaves. I assure you, he'll stay at PSG. He wants to stay, and he's not going anywhere. Blocked by Mbappe's extension. No, we're not blocked at all. We are really calm and very relaxed. And but just to speak on that Liverpool stuff, it's like I didn't see anyone on like Twitter panicking and going, "Oh, Mbappe wants to go to Liverpool." I'm, like where did, where do people find these rumors? Apparently, he said it. Daily I couldn't mail. find a single Usually problem in the Daily Mail. <laughs> Look, yeah. pe- look, people can make up rumors so easily. That's why you can't really follow or well, trust everything you read on Twitter, especially. I know. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I tried. I tried looking for the source. Mbappe says he wants to go to Liverpool. I couldn't find it. Like, I know there's a little bit talk in the summer. Right now, you find very quickly. The 90th minute, it's going to be 89. Yeah. A little bit talk in the summer. He's like, oh, we'll Liverpool right. are a great club. Liverpool are, you know, the fans are great. Everything. It doesn't mean yeah, he wants to go to Liverpool. He's just, he's just well, lots and lots things. of players praise exactly. other clubs. You know, it doesn't mean they're going to go. Yeah, there like, Lionel Messi another... praised Celtic once, and he, but he's not Celtic. He's coming. Don't worry, he's coming. A lot of players did. Um... There's another big game in France as Lyon uh, were hosting against Nice. It ended 3-2 for Nice. Lyon bottled, bottled it. it. And after this game, both clubs go, hey, guess what? We're firing our coaches. <laughs> Literally, both teams are still in the dressing room. They go, yeah, you're fired. You're fired. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Things we love to see. <laughs> like, yeah. I um, mean, Lyon, I... Rudy Garcia is not a great coach, in my opinion, at no. least at the top level. So I, I'm hoping that they get a coach that can make most out of their 
uh, talented players on the team. Uh, Monaco, though, they didn't win, but they got the Champions League spot. Right now, it's a qualifier, but if United win the Europa League, then Monaco automatically qualify for the Champions League. Niko Kovac oh, rede- redeeming himself, <laughs> winning, oh, well, getting in the top three in France, which is impressive. Yeah, Monaco what? were a little bit distracted. There was a small race oh, thanks, happening Lucas. in their city right now. Um, <laughs> Leon, yeah, There's Leon, Leon bottle it again. Uh, Rennes... Wednesday they, they they do get six. They've had an all right season, not great. Not but great. we can move on from the, this. Lucas, Lucas yeah, May, why, why'd you can drop off? Lucas May, why why'd you have to get you, give United that extra pressure, man? And now if we if we lose, you know, if we if we win Monaco against uh, what Europa League, Champions League, Champions League, that's a lot of pressure on United, man. Shit, I'm I'm sure they're gonna be thinking about that in the dressing room. Yeah, I'm sure all the rich Monaco <laughs> fans are gonna uh, <laughs> haze you if you don't. Oh God. All right, are uh, we going to Germany or are we going to Spain? We'll leave Spain for last because there was epic scenes. Save the best oh, for last. Let's go to the Bundesliga where a oh, record Bundesliga. was broken. Tears were shed on the soil of Bayern Munich. I'm pretty sure it was, was it Bayern Stadium. Yes. I don't know. But anyways, Robert Lewandowski finally breaks Gerd Müller's record. 41 goals. And he does it in the last minute. And crazy enough... By halftime, they're up like 4 on L. Robert Lewandowski still hasn't scored. <laughs> so it's like, what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Lewandowski finally breaks the record in the final mid. But uh, there were more emotional moments as David Alaba b- bid farewell. Same Jerome with Javi Martinez, well. Jerome Boateng. I don't know where Jerome Boateng is going. Is there anything rumored around him? He's just going to go live his life. Where the him. hell is Javi Martinez him, going? Him and his brother, Kevin Prince, going to go live their lives, okay? <laughs> But it is definitely a changing of the eras at Bayern Munich. Some of the older former players are moving on. Uh, but yes, Lewandowski gets the headlines here, breaking such a huge record, a very historic record by such a historic goal scorer before him. He comes on and he does it, and the man's been sensational. Simply <laughs> incredibly brilliant. Yeah. Um, yeah, two years in a row. Uh, the, interesting, the interesting thing in the Bundesliga, and I think a lot of leagues going into next season... A bunch of teams are gonna have new coaches, like the Bundesliga. Yeah. Uh, unless if, like, unless if Wolfsburg's coach doesn't leave, I think the top six all are gonna have new yeah. coaches, which is insane. That's very. That is a real. I don't get weird one. Why? By Hansi Flick is leaving Bayern. I don't understand it. Because the German job challenge. is available. Yeah. I, I know, but you just got at Bayern. You've been here for all of four days. Enjoy it. Win everything while you can. I he don't did. know. He did. He did. He completed <laughs> it, mate. Not the, he's, a, yeah. he's a champo again. He needs to do it again. <laughs> no, I think, I, I think for a lot of Germans, maybe except for Jurgen Klopp, if the German job's available, you're going to take it. That's like a, the highest standard you can probably I, get. I, I, and you know what? I, I don't hate him for taking the German job. I just go, I just feel he just, he just got it by like, I, I feel like I want to But he just that, took but... over, right? He wasn't there like a, as a permanent de- signing. He's I like, I'm going to be here until maybe we find someone. He did an incredible job, obviously. But why not go after an international title now? Hey, Hansi, Hansi, come win this stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm gone. I'm going to go. I, th- I think he noticed you know? that the German <laughs> national team right now needs a little bit of help, right? We've they seen do. how they performed the last couple of tournaments. Not great. So I think he really wants to try and re- rebuild that standard of ger- what Germany is. And, and I think he can I, do that. I'd love to see who Bayern Munich actually get to replace him. They need a big name. They need a good coach. Nagelsmann is. Who? Nagelsmann's been announced for a couple weeks. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. never mind. <laughs> oh, I forgot that. Was about to... Yeah, Leipzig lost their manager to Bayern. <sighs> Gladbach lost the their manager there. to Dortmund. Uh, Frankfurt lost their manager to Gladbach, and uh, Leipzig need a manager. Wolfsburg might lose their manager. Leverkusen already sacked their manager earlier this season. Yeah. It's a, it's a, a minefield there. <laughs> but good to see uh, Dortmund, uh, Leipzig, Bayern. They finished the top three. Wolfsburg also in the Champions League. Sad to see, you know, for us, Lukas uh, Lukas Pichek finally finish his career. I could have watched his final game. It wasn't on TV. I yeah. I don't know where to they find it. They had Armenia so. Bielfeld versus Stuttgart instead. Oh, that's disgusting, man. The Polish community is just upset in Canada. We not <laughs> not get to watch that match. Disgusting. Interesting. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, we there, there always needs to be a poll in Dortmund, so Dortmund go by Izzelinski because he needs to get out of that shit club in Napoli. Interesting moment at Borussia Dortmund. As at the end of the game, Erling Haaland does swap his jersey with the referee. 
as the referee was retiring after the game. So good to see That's that. Good. I like that. I like that. Yeah, there also in the, the Bayern game, there's a referee that was also having his last game. Yeah, and the, the fans that. there were giving fun. him a standing yeah, ovation. So wow, and like, Germany. You compare, that to, compare that to England. Yeah, that, that will never would happen. Not happen. No. <laughs> Kevin no, instead, I'd rather see Mike Dean leave the country in England. Mike Dean <laughs> oh, leaves? Mike Dean leaves, everyone would be like, yeah! Right. <laughs> I know we already talked about Wolves, but like in that Wolves game, the Wolves supporters swatted Mike Dean gone. They were going to chase him out of the building if they could. Like The fans were disgusted. Uh, uh, just, I just want to finish off the Bundesliga of the year, though. Um, of course, we knew Schalke were getting relegated for the longest time. Pretty embarrassing. Good, good performance, Schalke. Negative 61 goal differential. Who cares? They had three wins. <laughs> he conceded uh, 86 goals. What? But uh, sad thing, well, I guess if you like the Bundesliga, is uh, Werder Bremen are relegated for the second time in their history, and Goodbye. champions about 15 years ago now mm. into the second division. Yeah, the second division is actually getting very interesting. Yeah, second division is gonna have Bremen, possibly Hamburg still, uh, Schalke, um, some other teams that are pretty historic well, in the German league. Guys, you know those teams in Germany. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Cole might join them as well because they're in the relegation playoff. So we'll see what happens there as well. All right, let's go to La Liga. Ow, Big things. Matty! Tier, more tears happened. Yeah. Bottle drop. No, it wasn't really a bottle drop, but no, things it wasn't. happened. The correct team won the trophy. Bless yeah, up, that lady. And, you know, I think, Liam, oh, you kind of doubted God. them at one point. Oh, I think God. the whole of the football world doubted them at one point when they looked to be bottling it. Um... Basically, I, I said this for the past two months, it seems. No one wanted to win this title. <laughs> Even on the last day, it seemed no one wanted to win this title. Yeah. All three teams all struggled. Yeah, um, Atletico Madrid were playing Valladolid, Real Madrid were playing Villarreal, and, well, Barcelona were out of the title race, but they were Barcelona, playing we don't, talk. We, don't need, we don't need to talk about yeah. Barcelona. Uh, you got third, you got but Barca won 1-0 over Ibar. Yeah, I don't really yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> their expected goals in the first half was zero, but we don't need to talk about it. Yeah, uh, but, literally just... Nothing. But in the Atletico Madrid versus Valladolid match, 18th minute, Valladolid score. Then we see in the Real Madrid picture, Ramos looking at his phone, Marcelo looking at their phone. They're like, oh, they're losing. Let's go. A few minutes later, Villarreal score. Good. <laughs> uh, but then around early second half, 57th minute or something, Real Madrid, Benzema scores. Incredible. They're going nuts. The only guy that can score a goal, it seems, for them. Well, just wait, Liam, because then it was ca countered off offside. Unlucky. Literally, at the exact same time as that happened, Atletico Madrid score. Angel Correa gets by two players and Tope pokes his home from the top of the box. 1-1 in that game. Real Madrid still losing 1-0. But then 10 minutes later, mistake by Valladolid. Luis Suarez is on a breakaway. 1-1 one one with the keeper. And he scores. He ain't missing that. He's money with that. <laughs> Scenes in Atletico Madrid. Real Madrid, they do score two near the end to win the game 2-1. But it's not it enough. Atletico Madrid are champions oh. of Spain for the first time since 2014. Things we love to see. You do love to see it. But yeah. uh, what? So another thing you love to see... And here is story time with Lucas. I love it. Oh, it's fantastic. He's a great storyteller. If yes, you read me a story to bed, I'd, I'd do it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ultimately, the way the way I look at it is one man won La Liga this season. His name is Louis the God Suarez. Um, you fraud sold him for seven million pounds. Seven! Liam. Dude, we're Liam. fucking broke. What seven! Liam. We're broke. We signed Uts Edward for nine. Seven. We're broke. What do you want me to say? Huh? We have no <laughs> money, fam. <laughs> the guy was getting paid 300k a week. We not have the money, bro. He sold it's okay. Leave me the fuck alone. It was a fantastic Swar moment. Suarez was sad. And God. Well, this is, okay, yeah. I was going to bring this yeah. up. Yeah. Luis Suarez, he was in tears after winning the title. Barcelona, that's what he said. He said, Barcelona didn't value me. They underestimated me. And Atletico opened their doors, gave me an opportunity. I will always be grateful to this club and yeah. to trusting in me. Honestly. Beautiful. For such yeah, a, for it is beautiful. Luis Suarez won Atletico Madrid so many points throughout the season. Yeah. There was a period in the season where he wasn't scoring as much, missing easy chances. 
which we saw a lot of that at Barcelona with him, but he bounced back, scored more goals, crucial goals, game winners, and yeah, him, he's a big part. Diego Simeone, we have to give him all the credit mm. in the world. Nobody expected 100%. him to win another La Liga title after all the players left his side. He proved them wrong. He rebuilt yeah. the squad. People were doubting him last season when it wasn't going well for Atletico Madrid. People were doubting him this season, saying he has to go if they don't win the La Liga title. But he got it. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's be real here. A lot of people probably doubted him after he got knocked out of the Champions League to Chelsea. I mean, yep. he wins out to win the title. Incredible achievement. You know, some people may argue, I'd rather watch my club win the league title over the Champions League. So either or, it's a win in the end. Yeah. That was a great result for Atletico Madrid. They said Real Madrid do finish second. Um, they, 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 they got the win at the end of the final day. It just wasn't enough for them. Yeah. Basically, if you are Real Madrid and you are Barcelona, you have to look in the mirror for a long, long time and you need to figure out what the fuck you're doing with your clubs because you both have a lot of work to do, not only to win back La Liga, but to call, to, to challenge for Champions League again. There's a lot of work that these two teams need to do. And like Maddie said, both of these teams are not financially in the most great of positions. Barcelona is an absolute tire fire. I mean, Real Madrid has spent long. nearly a billion Another pounds long. on the Bernabeu, so <laughs> there's a lot to happen here at these two clubs, and, and um, we'll see who they are able to, to pick up. In the I just want to give big credit to Sevilla. They did finish fourth, but they got their highest point total in their club history. Mm, really? Yeah. That's cool. No, they had, a, they had a really good season. And now oh, Villarreal, they need to beat Manchester United this midweek to get... Well, <laughs> even Champions League football, because I think they're in a Conference League spot. So yeah, imagine they're, going they're from the seven. Europa League then downgrading to the Conference League. Yeah. Well, um, go win the Europa League, and there you go. To talk quickly about Barcelona, you have pretty much announced two signings already. Uh, the first I is Sergio I Aguero. Them, yeah. That is happening. Memphis Depay is still a possibility. It seems very I hope likely. Coleman fucks off so we don't sign that guy. It's another Griezmann. I don't need this in Why my life. Why don't you want Memphis? You like Memphis. Oh. Bro, it's just another Griezmann, bro. I don't need him on my wage bill. But what if you what you if you si- dump Griezmann? You gotta save up for Erling, bro. You gotta sign for Erling. You're not signing Erling. You're broke. We're signing Erling next you year. You sold Suarez for seven million. You fraud. I would have taken him year. for twelve. Give it Erling next Celtic, year. Celtic twelve million. You could have had Suarez. Two hundred IQ. Fuck. I called it here now. You think you think Celtic could take Suarez's no. wages? Sir, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not even close. Gotta save the wage bill for Erling because apparently he's asking for a billion. I don't know. I mean, it's, a cool yeah, it's incredible the amount of money um <laughs> they're asking. But uh, again, congratulations to Atletico Madrid. Huge achievement. Very happy to see. Um, just it's just a great story. I love. Atletico Madrid, Lille winning the league. This is why I love the sport. Like stories like that, where the yeah. team you don't expect to win the title prove people wrong. Yeah, we should have probably also mentioned uh, a couple of players leaving um, Liverpool. You see Genie leaving. Uh, they also strong chances of players like James Milner maybe moving on. Who knows about that one? Um, Jurgen Klopp said that he was lo- he was losing one of his best friends in Genie Wijnaldum. So. Jurgen Klopp is just very sad. Sad days for Jurgen. Who else is leaving? James Milner an assistant coach and call. I him. honestly, yeah. <laughs> All right, um, but also praise to. We did mention the Falcon Madrid and Leo winning the league and how great of stories that is. We we can't forget about Sporting Club de Portugal who won the Portuguese league. Yeah. Liam, I know you don't like me saying this, but Rangers winning the league is an incredible story. It is. We're so they were great. Just... They were so good. You got to give them credit. Fat Alfred, boy. They were they were fantastic. You have lots of credit to to Brendan Ro- uh, to, to uh, Stephen Gerrard to what he's done. Uh, he's come in. He's done. He's done fantastic. I also do want to make um, a very very special shout out to St Johnston. They've done a, a double domestic cup win, and that is incredible. Like <laughs> St Johnston, they're saying it's. Arguably one of the greatest seasons in Scottish football history to to win a double cup for St. Johnston. That's incredible. So I mean, Jeez, full yeah. credit to them. They deserve that. But uh, yeah, anything else? Um. I so I guess we can move on to the segment of the show where we give our. Yeah. I mean, someone gave the suggestion of Liam's hot sauce of the week. My hot sauce <laughs> of the week. Yeah, we're not using that one. <laughs> um. Apologies with eyes, but it's where each of us, we give our best performer of the week or our favorite thing of the week, whether it's related to football or not. 
and our least favorite thing of the week. It's basically what it is. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it to Sergio Aguero for my best one. Do you I have guess. a bad one? Who's your Who's your worst of the week? Well, let's do all the good ones first, and then. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna give St. John's my best of the week. They deserve it. They've had a great year. For mine, my best is probably uh, watching Leo uh, win the title. That was nice. Mm-hmm. I'll give it to Atletico Madrid then, since Waz took my first one. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care if everyone took it. I'm giving it to Atletico Madrid because fuck Real Madrid. I'm going to give it to Burak. There's a lot of good things <laughs> happening this week. But I think my bad will probably be watching, uh, seeing Lester bottle it again. Mm. Pretty easy. My bad is the Barcelona board for selling Luis Suarez for $7 million. That's fair. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> you know, one of, one of the best things also happened this week. You know, Rangers went undefeated in Scotland. That was awesome to see it, right, Liam? They went undefeated only in the Cup. In the, in, in the premiership, sir, we went undefeated across all competitions. Thank you very much. We are the true invincibles. I love it. Trouble, trouble winners. Suck on that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> the pettiness. I love it. <laughs> um, but so, yeah, that was quick. Uh, uh, um, well, I didn't give my bad. Oh, right. Lucas. Me, man. Lucas didn't. Only much. two of us did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, probably. I'm just going to give it to Juventus. Yeah, they did get into the champ. No. Well, yeah. Juventus. Come on. Yeah. You had a bad Down season. Bad. You guys are fi- your guys' finances are crap. Do I even have to say my bad? Are you wearing Rip. it? I'm wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> full force, full of Maddie, Fuck who's it. your bad of the week? I'm not sure if it's if it's his bad, because honestly, he was just showing his true colors, but Ronald Coleman's fucking useless. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, Bella. what do you Fair expect? Enough. The man's not a great manager. I don't know why he's there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know who who chose him. Bro, but, he gave uh, us he gave us like a shining light and then just fucking threw it. So I don't know. And now he's apparently blaming players. So do we have any I questions today? Oh, let's check YouTube. Yeah, questions we got from YouTube. Thank you guys for the comments. We do really appreciate it. Uh, first one from Ian. Do you think Lingardino should stay at United or leave? If he leaves, where do you think he would go? Fucking go to West Ham. You have a Please great go time. to West Ham. West Ham, West Ham I, think, so, I don't know. If any, it depends which clubs are interested in him, but at the end of the day, life for him is pretty, going pretty well at West Ham. If he they can keep a hold of him, that's. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't think. No yeah. matter what, I don't see him staying at United. West Ham in general like just seem good. happier, and all the players seem like they want to be there. So I, 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 mean, I, I, don't, I don't, don't think many players will leave this. West Ham team. I, I generally don't, don't see him leaving at United. I mean, if anything, United are looking to get like a bit younger and <clears throat> try to fix other positions. If they can get some money back from Turf that's mm, awesome. Jesse well, Lingard's a good uh, youth prospect. But yeah. Jesse Lingard's never going to start name. over Bruno Fernandes. He's never going yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. So, so what's he going to do? Go yeah, back he, to something He doesn't bench? have a spot. He doesn't have a spot there anymore. Especially with Donny van de Beek even trying to crack a Donny. spot. like Donny van de Bench. I feel like Jesse Lingard's had a better season than Donny van de Bench. He definitely has because he's actually played games, to be fair. <laughs> this question from Daddy Smack is a little long. I don't know if we should answer it here. Yeah, Daddy Smack, the question yeah, will probably take said. a long time, but I'll read your other comments because I thought they were pretty funny. Uh, he said, Matt, Chivas is greater than America. That's Cap, and he knows it. He also said the best 90th minute moment, since we asked last week, was when Liam and Lucas were arguing about Liverpool if they should sign someone or not, and Liam screaming, Liverpool need Thiago for 10 minutes straight. Yeah, I wish I could go back in time and say, Liverpool do not need Thiago. He was <laughs> shot. Thi- so. Bro, Thiago's going to be great. Bro, a bro, a bro. Shut the bro, up. Bro. Best 90th minute moment still is the fucking Christmas special podcast. <laughs> Nothing beats <laughs> the that tree. moment. It's just so good. <laughs> There's been so many. There's been you so weren't many there. Great moments. You weren't there yet. You weren't there. Fucking you were- gang the- bang a tree. We had a Christmas tree, tree and was kicked it over. <laughs> He Middle of the podcast, this man he just literally kicks the just tree. kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually couldn't stop it laughing for like 10 moment. minutes. I think Liam moments. was bleeding as well. <laughs> I was, yeah, my he was, yeah. Bleeding. That's weird. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, just answer this uh, first name that comes into your head Okay. and the team. Who do you think will be the biggest signing in this upcoming transfer window? Harry Kane <laughs> to. Kane Sancho. Man Harry City. Kane to Manchester United. No. Harry no. Or, no. Or, Harry, or Harry Kane to City. I'll go Jane, Jane Sancho, Sancho to Chelsea. To Chelsea. That. Yeah. Jane <laughs> Sancho to United. That's not happening, mate. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. It could happen. It could happen. Lucas? Um, you guys have been at it for way too Declan long. Declan Rice is a big one. It could be a big one, too. He goes. That one you'll probably get. There you go. Be happy. I'll, I'll say... I'll just say Mbappe to Real Madrid. Even though I don't really think that's going to happen. I can't think of anything big. I don't that. think Mbappe or Holland are going to leave this year. Mbappe. I, I, I see them hold staying, now. Yeah, Mbappe, if you see this, go to Real Madrid so we can have a really good TikTok out of that. Okay? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> or just stay at PSG. I really don't want you at Real Madrid. Either, <laughs> Crash Barca Come to the Prem. Yeah. Mbappe to Manchester City. Come on. Come Plus on. just staring at the cab, bro. Like, so funny. Let's go viral. Hey, make... Again. <laughs> uh, Casey, he says that you guys will be making your own scary. FIFA cards. Uh, that can be something we can consider in the future. I have a FIFA card. I have one. If we make our own FIFA cards and I'm not the highest rated one, and I'm anything we would actually uh, we're going to have a fucking issue. Well, realistically, I'd probably be like a 30 overall, maybe. Maybe a 19. I, that's maybe a 19. 19. And that, I'm saying that for like us, that's pushing because it. Because we didn't actually do a sponsorship with them. They they offered us a sponsorship. I Jesus. I bought one. Uh, so did Wazinho. And then they just didn't do anything with it. So that's the thick ginge right there. Beautiful face. Look at that. Look at that. 97 overall. You love to see it. It's got 88 pace. We all know that's true. 99 shooting. You're down. That's right. inflated. Uh, honestly, I think I think, we're, uh, I think we're just like a slightly partnership with them. If you want to go check that, we have like a okay. code. Use code. Let me edit. Let me edit. Uh, 67 dribbling. I, I guess I'm poor dribbling. Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah, I'm gonna edit your 80 card defensive. Here, yeah. I, your defending's I back. too high too. I track back. Too high. 99 pace? physical big man. So pace, Liam, I'm gonna give you 62 because you're 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 past it, fam. Physicality, talking, let's is, be real. This is an icon card, Dude. sir. This is an icon card. It's my prime. Let's, let's be real. Let's be, prime let's be real, fam. Ginge. Let's be real, fam. You know, prime. stamina is a part of physicality. No. And that's not topping up anywhere prime past 20. Ginge, yeah. just pace 88. Now, now, what else is on there? I, is jumping on there or jumping nope. defensive? My shooting. Because we know man's 99 not got leaps. 99 shooting. I got, I got great shooting. Bro. We saw, we saw, the, we saw the, the first episode of IRL football. Absolute god rage, bro. Yeah, there's a lot me, of fucking cuts, and you still look shit. Uh, let me tell you, bro. Um, if if I had a stamina stat, it'd probably be ten. Cause if I run like three laps around a field now, I get gassed. I haven't ran in fucking two years, man. So. <laughs> yeah, but you you got that engine in you. That's it's, nah. it's it's not fat. It's an engine. <laughs> That's not ah! an engine. Let me tell you. <laughs> no, it no, is. Trust just, me. I've seen sorry, it in action. Greg, I'm sorry. You it's, played on my team. Who nearly died in the game from running? You, not me. I was okay. Greg's vomiting to me? on the bench. No, Greg. Greg's vomiting oh, on the bench because like, he was too tired. Like, don't put. I was like, don't put my name I'm on this. Sick oh. that day, but yeah. No. Uh, Anyways, but don't play if you have COVID. COVID. Uh, Jack did ask about the Europa League, uh, Europa Conference League. We did make a video about that on the 90th Minute Extra Time channel. So if, if you want our thoughts on that, check that channel out. Uh, <laughs> Stop that. That's a gif right there. Yeah, it's just a dead gift. Why is this actually, like, so, like <laughs> dead? Oh. All right, last uh, question from Matthew. Mazzino for president. Yeah. scaring no. me. All right, last question. Uh, what football game do you look back on, and you look at the score, you look at the score, and you're a little confused, like Barca versus Bayern. 7-1 Brazil. <laughs> That's a good one, Eric. 9-0 United Southampton just recently. I mean, that was How much did Liverpool get dicked by this season? Seven, six, yeah, seven, two. There's a lot this season, to be I'm honest. Still confused. Oh yeah, Aston Villa seven two. I'm still confused how Celtic beat Barcelona I'm... two one, even though we had eleven percent possession. Don't get that one. Or you Maddie, know did. Maddie, I'll, I'll give you your favorite. When Barca came back against uh, PSG, and you take a look at that aggregate score, it's like, well, what went wrong? Yeah, <laughs> one <laughs> nil. Liverpool. That's a good one. that's not, is that confusing for you, Greg? Yes, they just got relegated. Yeah, we were kind of shit. <laughs> uh, 8-0 when Bayern defeated Schalke 8-0 at the beginning yeah. of the season that was a bit confusing but then we realized oh that's just normal Schalke Schalke, Schalke, Schalke. Schalke, Schalke doing Schalke things I guess <laughs> well I think that should be everything for this podcast so thank you for the questions we do appreciate it I'm going to make a don't. final thank you I, I, so mad. I was the only one who saw that please don't right. okay. thank you. why does Lucas sound like a flight attendant <laughs> I'm going to find a little pitch for you guys check out manscaped.com of course you do get uh, 20% off plus free shipping when you use code 90th at checkout. Fantastic. I think still here. Oh, I'm dying. Fantastic you... new lawnmower 4.0. Completely redesigned. Upgraded in every conceivable way. Honestly, 
Manscaped is the best male grooming, and they've just become even yeah. better. So check out Manscaped. Get your father a gift for Father's Day. Mm-hmm. Someone special. And if you want to test life. it out, grab yourself a kiwi and just go at it. See how it works. There you there go. You go. Yourself a kiwi. Kiwis are kind of expensive, though. No. <laughs> You're just shaving. You can still eat the kiwi. You're just shaving. Yeah. It. That's it's, it's got skin safe technology, man. Yeah, it's, that's it's not gonna you, cut it. Before before you, you take it, ceramic to blades, seven thousand RPM the motor. Kiwi? Well, that's Both your fault. That's your fault. That's your, kiwi, but that's your fault. But that's your fault. That's your fault if you drop no, it. I'm magic. sorry that you can't it's hold it. It's your fault for spending the money on a fucking kiwi just no. to shave it. But that you can if you don't shave drop it, you can still eat it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you're so fucking stupid that you can you don't you can't hold a fucking kiwi in your pocket. no more. <laughs> anyway, that is the net. It's been a podcast. Hit like, subscribe, comment down below, get involved. We will Don't see you next show. time. Kiwis. Goodbye. Fucking He's love on Kiwis. Watch. I'm with Timozinho. Goodbye.